Hi, this is your artist Rep Yvonne with another video for Face Paint Forum Shop. Today we're going to be doing a cute flamingo that's sure to be a hit at any spring and summer party. We're going to be using Tag Flamingo. And we're going to try and use just the hot pink and the white. So we're going to grab a filbert brush. I feel like this gives me the most control for a design such as this one, like a flamingo. Make sure you load it up really good generously so that you don't have to reload in in between takes here with the the design that you're doing we're going to do like a candy cane shape we're going to curve the head and the neck start at a point and then bring it and swoop it around to end at the beginning of the eyebrow fill in whatever you need to fill in there and then we're going to create an arch over the eyebrow and then fill in the eye space Make sure you flick the brush to the outside so that it looks like the flamingo's feathers are just flocked in the back. Now we're going to grab some Superstar Line White and a Low Cornell number 3. Again, we're going to load it up generously so we don't have to reload. This makes it a lot faster. Your design is a lot quicker if you load up correctly. We're going to start off with the beak here. We're going to create a pointy triangle shape. I curve it a little bit in the inside to make it more organic feel for the beak. And then I'm going to create some line work, some swirls, and some teardrops just to add a little extra interest. This is completely optional, but definitely gives your design a little extra so that your clients can appreciate. Once you're happy with your line work, then you can go ahead and grab some glitter. I'm grabbing some neon orange glitter just to give it a little pop here. We're going to just spritz it while it's still a little wet there. Next, we're going to grab our Wolf Black with a Low Cornell number one. Trying to show it there. There we go. We're going to load it up. And now we're just going to fill in the point of the beak because they have a little bit of black at the point of the beak there. Kind of outline it and then give it that nostril at the beak as well. It's a tiny little nostril. And then the eye is going to be closed. So I'm just going to do a little smiley line there where the eye should be. I'm going to load up my brush a little bit more and then I'm just going to outline the neck. I'm not going to outline the inside, just the outside of the bird. I don't want it to look too dark. The outlining is optional too, but I'm just doing it to give it, again, a little extra interest there. And then make sure that you kind of define the feathers in the back, again, so that the feathers look flocked in the back. And then just frame the eye a little bit to make it look more finished. Once you're happy with that, now I'm going to grab some chunky glitter, chunky and funky, and I'm just going to dab it along to give it that extra sparkle anywhere you want. I mix my glitter with Vaseline so I can put it over the paint and it won't smear. All right, so we are finished with our design. You should be able to do this in under two minutes. Super cute line buster. Don't forget to visit www.facepaintforumshop.com for all the supplies that we use today.